Reemergence of Trump aide accused of abuse is deeply troubling, ex-wife says. Breaking news six dead as car hits crowd in China, police fatally shoot driver, state media says. Details to come, Washington U the article was published without any great fanfare last week. Was the headline of, more surprising than the content of a pro-Trump opinion column by a former administration official was the byline on it? The piece was written, Mr. Porter, who still lives in Washington and had been one of Mr. Trump's most influential aides, has stayed out of the public eye since his resignation. Some saw his op, but in the Washington Post by one of Mr. Porter's former wives was the latest reminder that in the era of the Me Too movement, a quiet comeback is complicated and a simple timeout, for many, is not viewed as enough. Rob's sudden return to the public eye is deeply troubling to me, wrote Jennifer Willoughby, who was married to Mr. Porter from 2009 to 2013, because he has yet to candidly address the thing that should you that must you come first his personal conduct during his two marriages. In a blog post describing her marriage in which she did not identify Mr. Porter by name, Ms. Willoughby accused him of pulling her, naked and dripping, from the shower to yell at her and said that she had filed a protective order with the police after he punched in the glass on the front door of her house while she was locked inside. She has also de- Mr. Porter's other former wife, Colby Holderness, has described their relationship as verbally, emotionally, and physically abusive. She has shared with the, the power of Ms. Willoughby's response to Mr. Porter's re-emergence might be in its measured manner, in which she weighs how one should be allowed to return to public service after a scandal involving abuse. Mr. Porter, she wrote, should not be forever barred from using his considerable professional skills and knowledge to make a contribution to our society. She added that she had, but, she noted Rob has yet to publicly show regret or contrition for his actions. Giving him a voice, Ms. Willoughby, who since Mr. Porter's resignation has become a writer and public speaker discussing abuse and its aftermath, wrote that only after walking a path of growth and recovery will there be time for op eds on trade policy. True redemption is not a given, she wrote. It is earned. The journal declined to comment on its decision to publish Mr. Porter's piece. Mr. Porter has never publicly addressed the allegations against him. His only public many White House officials have remained friendly with Mr. Porter, and Mr. Trump has expressed frustration over the coverage of Mr. Porter's departure, which he said did not provide his former aide with a chance to defend himself. Mr. Porter, but he is not the first man who left a prominent perch after an abuse or harassment scandal and then found the road back difficult. Louis C.K., the comedian who, tried to quietly trot out his stand-up routines at comedy clubs in New York City after a 10-month hiatus. But his re-emergence...